Hey guys, welcome back. This is HK from TechRap and in today's video, I'm going to show you Citrus CF Android Nougat ROM for Xiaomi Mi A1 with FM radio and also I'm going to show you how to install Nougat based custom ROMs on your Mi A1. First of all, in order to flash Nougat based custom ROMs, you need to be on Android Nougat base. So the first step is downgrade to Nougat. If you are still on official Nougat, then you can skip this first step and proceed to the next. For downgrade, you need Nougat based fast boot ROM. The download link for this ROM is in the description below. Once you have downloaded this ROM, go to the downloads folder, right click on the zip file and select extract to. After the extraction is complete, go to the extracted folder, select the file, right click open with WinRAR and extract the contents to your new folder again. After the process is done, navigate to the folder which contains all these files including the images folder, select all, go to C drive, create a folder named ROM and paste these files here. Now download Xiaomi Mi Flash app, open it, go back to your phone, go to settings about phone, enable developer options by clicking multiple times on the build number. Under developer options, enable OEM unlocking and USB debugging. Now connect your phone to the PC, go to ADB and fastboot folder, click right click on the mouse plus shift key on the keyboard, select open command window or windows PowerShell here. Now type ADB devices, you will get a prompt on your phone, select always allow and click ok. Now you need to boot your phone to the fast boot or boot order mode. For that you can hold volume down plus power button simultaneously until you see the fast boot screen. Or you can simply type ADB reboot boot order within the power shell. Now go to Mi Flash app on your PC, click refresh. Once you get the device ID of the phone, select clean all and flash it. Once it is done, it will automatically reboot. If it doesn't, hold the volume button for few seconds to do that. This process takes few minutes so be patient and make sure you reboot your phone only when you see the successfully flashed status. After you have rebooted your phone, enable USB debugging again and reboot the phone to the fast boot mode. Now you need to temporarily boot your phone to the TWRP. The download link for the recovery is in the description. Now open command window or windows PowerShell and type fast boot boot name of the recovery dot IMG. Now you are in the TWRP recovery. First go to wipe. Advanced Wipe, select Dalvik, System, Data, Internal Storage and swipe to wipe. Next go to install from home screen, pick the ROM file. If you have issues with the internal storage, you can transfer ROM files to the micro SD card and flash them. So this is the ROM file, select it and swipe to confirm the flash. Once the flashing is done, reboot to bootloader again and repeat the same step, temporary boot to TWRP. Now go to install from home screen, select Z apps file and Magix version 16 and flash them. Once the flashing is done, just reboot your phone. This is the boot animation of Citrus ROM and this is the lock screen. Nothing special about the lock screen, it's similar to the stock ROM. By default, you get two launchers, one is launcher 3 and the other is Google Now launcher. This is the about phone screen and as you can see the ROM is Citrus CEF based on Android Nougat 7.1.2 with November 6, 2017 security patch. The best part about these custom ROMs is the FM radio. Our phone has FM radio but sadly we don't have any app to access the FM radio on stock ROMs apart from the test mode. But here with custom ROMs the FM radio works flawlessly and like all other phones you need headphones to access it. Apart from FM radio, you have Equalizer app where you can customize audio output via speakers, headphones and Bluetooth devices. We have some ROM specific customizations. You can find these customizations under personalization, custom squash. You can customize the UI, you can blur it. We have few gestures, double tap on status bar or lock screen to sleep. Double press the power button to jump to the camera. Still we don't have the double tap to wake feature. Under status bar, you can customize quick settings, enable or disable status bar icons, custom icons and you can also enable data traffic monitor. This is one important feature that's missing on stock ROMs and also you can adjust the brightness by sliding across the status bar. Under lock screen customizations, you can enable charging info, display music visualization and you can enable FP unlock without input pattern or code after reboot. Under buttons, you can disable hardware buttons and enable on-screen navigation buttons. You can also set custom actions for these buttons. There's three finger screenshot and you can also enable memory bar in recent menu. 
I've been using this ROM for the past 4 days and everything is working just fine. As you can see the ROM supports Vivo LTE and outgoing calls with Geo are working just fine. Audio output via speakers and headphones is also good. The only con I noticed about this ROM is regarding the camera. The camera app is good both still picture and video recording is fine but the app is pretty much basic. You have no extra features like stock ROM to take advantage of the rare dual camera setup. Coming to the benchmarks, NT2 version score is 78209, Geekbench single core score is 883, multi core score is 4301 and Nina Mark 2 score is 60.1 frames per second. So that is it, I hope you guys liked it, thanks for watching, see you soon in the next video.